Okay, folks, um, here we are with the uh, 2010 RD level question B3 on uh, B1, sorry, um, on intersecting solids. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I set up as much of the drawing as I could. Um, so it's a fence post type of a thing, and uh, uh, there it is. Below is a portion of one of rectangular posts and one of square rails from a wooden fence. Draw the given plan and elevation and project an end view of the post and rail okay so the plan is just a rectangle at 45 degrees that's a 45 degree slope there and a uh, 100 by what is it uh, 100 by 60 okay so that's 60 there and 100 there tilted at 45 degrees then you just bring those lines up there and that's 100 from there to there so i've numbered the edges here on the plan and i've not renumbered them there i've drawn them in heavy it in here because that would be fine I've heavied it down a bit here and down a bit here. I've also gone and drawn the uh, the, the square shaped um, the square shaped uh, prism. Okay, that's going through it. Um, on on the on the over here on the end view. I'm just changing my view here now so I can see the question. Yeah. Uh, so this is a square tilted at forty five. Uh, where this is, it doesn't really matter. So here's the actual end of my end view. So this is going to come on twenty five mil here. Okay. And there I get my light. Look a bit better. There we go. Put a bit of light on it there. Yeah, just illuminate it a little bit better and square myself up a bit. Straighten out the drawing. There we go. Now, um, yeah, so there is the, um, yeah, so my end view is going to protrude out that much. Okay, or my elevation, this, this square shaped prism is going to put you know, there, that's the 20 on the drawing. And then I just stepped out a little bit here and drew a diamond, essentially a square, that's 35 mil there, and that's tilted at 45. And I've labeled that A, B, C, D, okay? Um, and the end view is going to be over here. Okay, see so the elevation is here, the plan is here, and the end view is actually going to end up over here. So, end view is going to be there, okay? Um, first thing we can do anyway, get my T-square. Okay, and um, when you've drawn this um, diamond shape, okay, head's in the way there. Bring A across, straight the way across, and I'm going to bring it all the way across here because it's going to be needed in the end. D and B are on the same line. I bring them straight the way across. Okay, C is on the ground. Uh, sorry, it's not on the ground. It's there. Okay, so I'm going to bring that straight the way across there. So at least that's where that thing cuts through, and you can see it then here. Okay, and here, that's where it starts and ends. Okay, and it's going to stop in here somewhere, right? Uh, we don't know where, but we can draw it to here if you wanted to. Okay, step out of the way. So I can draw these down here, like that, and like that, and I can also join that to there and that to there. Okay, join this to here. Join that to there. Okay, um, so what's inside here is where we're going to figure out. Now we can't draw this or finish off this without completing the plan. Okay, and as it stands, I've got this edge I can bring down here and that edge I can bring down there, which I already did. So that's the limits of the drawing there. So as it looks like, there's A, there's B comma D, because if you're looking in from that side, okay, B is what you see first and then you see D, so that's B then D. Let's see. Okay, so if this is the top one, on the drawing it tells us that corner A goes through, we'll say corner four here, or edge four. So this is actually A here in the plan. Okay, so that's corner A, and we need to figure out the width of this from here to here. So we've got a width here of D to B between A. So looking down on top, we have an A and C, and that's actually C as well there. A and C are in line with each other, and then D and B are. And uh, straighten my drawing up a little bit. D and B there are either side of it. So the width of it is here, DB is the width of it, okay? So if we get from A, okay, out to B, yeah, the width out here, extend out my compass, okay, so there, and we just step it either side of A here on the plan. So, so here and there, okay, and that then becomes, this is D, this is B. And you can bring those across like that. 
lightly. We're gonna craft lightly because we don't know where they hit. This way. Okay. So now we've got A, B, C, and D here on the plan. And we've got it coming in and it stops here. A comes in here and stops here. And B comes in here and stops here. So let's work it out up here. Okay. So A, D comes here and stops dead. Okay, AC comes in here and stops dead. And and B comes in along here like that and stops dead. So once they hit all the, the surface of between two and three, which is up here, between two and three, so this surface, okay, uh, we can bring that up. So we bring that straight up, bring this straight up, bring this straight up, and then we just relabel them wherever they. So A comes along here. A comes, so let's start with A, yeah, A. A is up here, so we bring it up, we trace A from over here, that's A. Okay, D, or B, let's go B, goes along to here, comes along here, hits it, I'm gonna mark B here, I'm gonna mark A here, B, I'm gonna mark D here. Okay, so D, A, C, and C is down here. D is on the inside here, it comes from here, it traces its way in, that is point D. D is obviously over here, so we trace it up here in line with D. Yeah. Now, what's hidden and what's not? Okay, well, we know that D here, so looking this way, if you look this way, D is behind everything. A, B, and C, you can see. If you're standing looking in here, you can see A, you can see B, and you can see C, and D is hidden. Okay, so therefore D is hidden. And then A, line A to B and B to C is, you can see. Okay, so we go there. And then D to C is hidden detail. Dotted line like that. Dotted line like that. And then we can bring this point here straight in across like that. We can bring this point straight across like that. This goes here. There you go. So that now is the left hand side. Working out the right hand side, it's the exact same thing. So this is D here. This is A, A is here, D is here, B is here, and C is here. And so we can work this out on the left side as well. Just draw a line across like that. Join this to here, join this to here. And then maybe this guy in. Like that, okay. So it's actually the plan is completed now. All the lines are heavy, nothing inside here. No hidden detail, no dots, nothing. So bring D up. It's the time for D. And it's symmetrical, so this is also B. Okay, so actually B and D are in line with each other, so they're the same. And A and C, so actually we just end up with a line like that. Okay, so there's A, there's C, there's A again, so there's A, 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 okay, there's B and D are here, B and D are separate here, and B and D together here, okay, and this is C as well, and this is where C hits the surface 4, and this is, three, nothing happens to 3, and this is C, and this is 2, and there you go. Okay, now, do we have any other hidden detail to work out? Yes, okay, so this edge 2 is solid from the ground up, nothing's going through 2, so therefore, in between A and C, that's a dot broken line. Okay, and the back edge 1, nothing's happening 1, so you're standing here, nothing is touching 1 or anything, but the edge is still there, so therefore, that's hidden detail as well. Okay, there you go. Um, and there is some hidden detail here, okay. Uh, oh, it's going right through it again, okay. So the thing is going right through it. So there actually is a hidden detail going through it. There are actually two objects going through each other. The whole has been cut, okay. So we can, in between these, we can join that. We can join those. And it's the exact same as the plan. So it's a solid object inside another solid object. They haven't been able to subtract it from each other or anything like that. Okay. So 
there's actually been a hole cut out of this and this is shoved through it. Okay, there. Now, working out the end view, fairly straightforward. Okay, so every point on the plan needs to be brought out to the limit line here. So the very right left hand side of the, of the elevation has to be brought straight down on a straight line like that. So I call that the limit line and everything needs to be brought to that to be brought up at 45 degrees always for a plan. Okay, so three and four is there and two needs to be brought over as well. And one, so there's one, there's two on the very side, there's four, A and C, they're all in line, B is over here and three is over here. All those points need to be brought up to the end view. It's going to go off the page on me, hopefully not. I can't see it, but I think the final video will show it. There, so all these points are just going up as far as the X, Y. I shouldn't be extending them that far, actually. They're all stopping at the X, Y. Okay, so I'm going to just erase them above the X, Y. They don't need to go beyond the X, Y there. Okay, so there's three. There's B. There's four, A, and C. And there's D, and two, and one. Okay. A bit messy here now, but you follow it in your own drawing, I'd say. Bring up all these points. Okay, and then missing this line over here. That. Okay, and 11 minutes. And. Oh, I forgot the. There, okay, so let's trace it all up. There's A and C, okay, so that goes over to here, goes up, and that's where C would be, and that's where A would be. B is over here, that goes over to hit the XY line, that's the XY, that's the XY line, and then up, and where's B here? So there's B, there's D over here to the end view, straight up, and where's D over here? Any line here that has D in it. Straight across there. Well, you can draw the diamond in there straight away, or the square. There you go. Okay. I hope this is showing up in the drawing. I might just move over some of it just so, yeah, there we go. Just to be safe. Okay. Uh, then, um, four, three is over here. So all these are just full height anyway. And they're all solid, okay? So that's three. Four, edge four is here. That's hidden, okay? Let's see. Okay, and two is here, the edge two. And then across, bring it up. That's visible. Two, and that's four, and there's one. And you just head across there. So the end view is actually fairly straightforward. Hopefully, there's enough of a difference between my construction lines and my light lines, or my heavy lines and my light lines. And that's the completed drawing then. So, okay, so that's the 2011, 10, sorry, origin level, question B1, the intersecting solids question. Have a go at that and see how you get on.